Howdy, y'all. My name is Press. I'm coming at you once again with some more Binding of Isaac Rebirth. All right. Let's uh, go ahead and do our requisite Lost run. And as you can see on the lower left there, I've been trying quite a bit with the Lost lately. Uh, with... Uh, little success, <laughs> we will say. Um, okay, Curse of the Labyrinth. We'll look around for our item rooms. If we find a curse room, I'm 50-50 I'm on whether or not we go into curse rooms. Obviously, it worked out really well for us that one time. And if I was doing reroll scumming, uh, I would obviously be only looking for the curse room so we could get that nine lives, that dead cat. But um, there's the, the chance that we get something like Mom's Knife in a uh, an item room. Uh, and since we have two item rooms on the curse or on the um, XL floor, there's you know we, we get two free items. So if they're good, then we say, all right, screw it. We'll avoid the uh, curse rooms and we'll just we'll try our best. Um, and if they're mediocre or bad, then we'll say, all right, we'll go for the curse room as well. All right, so there's our curse room that we were just talking about. This I hate these uh, these suckers. Oh, of course. All right, let's uh, careful. Let's do that. Let's do a little bit of that. Okay, got a little bit of this. Explosive diarrhea. Wish I would have known that. I would have used it right there. Oh well, though. Now we know. Okay. Oh, we got another tinted rock over there. Again, tinted rocks is the lost. You know, they're still really valuable because you have that chance of getting small rock. I don't know what that chance is. I should look into the number. It's got to be relatively high, like 25% maybe. You know, high enough. Oh, God damn it. Fiery bastards. Quit what you do. Quit doing what you do. Quit jumping. Quit being weird little, like, pajama suits. Even though I know you're really, like, headless dudes, but you also look like a pair of pajamas. Okay. Oh, that reminds me. Have any of y'all ever seen... Talk about this in the comments. Have y'all ever seen, uh, Little Nemo? Not Finding Nemo. Little Nemo. It was one of my favorite movies as a child. It's about this kid who has the ability to essentially, like, transport into dreams and impact the dream world, and, uh, it's pretty amazing. It is pretty amazing. It's actually based off of a, like, early, like, turn-of-the-century 1900s um, comic strip. It was, like, Little Nemo's Adventures in Slumberland, uh, and then they made the movie at some point in the 80s, and, uh, really just fantastic movie. Okay. Okay. We want to be as careful here as we can, and we still oh, want to go back and find our item rooms before we take on our bosses, because we need whatever help we can get. We do have a good number of bombs, so yeah, we'll blow up a couple of our tinteds. We might have ourselves a secret room right there. We'll uh, keep that in mind. So that was a spirit heart. Wasn't necessarily worth it. Come on, stuff. Oh, we got a key out of it. I guess that's something. Okay, bomb for a key. Yeah, it's usually a good trade. Okay, we'll just stay right there. Yeah, sometimes you just want to stay perfectly still. I'd really love just some kind of damage upgrade. That's all I want is, is a bunch of damage. Because the main thing that I'm worried about with the lost stuff now, it's like with the um, dark room, all that really is going to take is enough time for me to get another run like the last one where it's like I get nine lives and guppy on a lost run and I don't get too screwed by bosses. The boss rush one, that's the one that's tricky. That one you need to get like, you know, quad shot, uh, mom's knife, or you know, any of those kinds of things that let you shred enemies really quickly. Uh, Brimstone would be great, which uh, I was talking to Ash about this the other day. I have not, Monstro's Lung, God, it's so okay, but not. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Oh, man. It's one of those ones where it's like it's kind of an upgrade, but it's also having to charge up your shots can be real lame. All right, y'all. Come and follow me this way. Thank you. Uh, I was hoping to uh, lure them, but I didn't really do that properly. Okay. Whoa, hello. That was quite the launch you did there, buddy. Yeah, it's like, I think that Monstro's Long is technically, uh, you know, sort of a damage up because of the number of tiers that you hit them with. Oh, boy. What a weird combo this is. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys right now, I was playing a run earlier <laughs> where I was eaten, and I started with Monstro's Lung, and then I got the Skinny Odd Mushroom. What a weird coincidence. Okay, so then what do I feel about the um, Curse Room now? Let's go fight our bosses. We'll see if we get... Um, a good deal with the devil 
because deal with the devil could give us nine lives, right? Uh, and uh, and then I guess we'll go from there because we got two bosses. All right, Dingle, come on. I'm holding down my charge shot so I couldn't skip the screen. All right, look out! Don't you charge at me! Don't you charge at me! Don't you charge at me! Jerk! 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 Don't you charge! Back off! Back off! Get all up in his face. I like being fast. Skinny Odd Mushroom is great for all that. The speed is real. Oh ho! That was a quick one. Don't do it. You got too much to live for. Jerk. Jerk. Ah! <laughs> Expertly maneuvered. <laughs> That's what we'll call that. Oh, man. Sometimes I get so damn lucky. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh boy, okay. Next boss, who are you? Monstro. Monstro's Law, I should have known. Alright, so this is the one, I'm pretty sure he just shoots at you. Oh, nope, guess not. He might just not do, like, the big jump, but we'll see. I'm pretty sure this is what, that's what um, Black Monstro means, though. Is that he's, like, just all about the, that attack. Which can be nice, it makes it a little more predictable, but it's also kind of... You know, the monstro's jump can sometimes help you uh, line him up in certain shots. Okay, come on. The one downside of the skinny odd mushroom that you know I I tend to um, why I tend to avoid it is because it uh, does a damage modifier that is a negative. So it's like it multiplies your damage in a negative direction. Oh, but we got ourselves some synth oil, so that's great. And what do we got here? We've got Judas's shadow, and we've got Ghost Baby. Here's the thing about Judas's shadow: if we oh hello. If we come back with Judas's shadow, then we're Judas's shadow. We're not uh, the lost anymore, which sucks. But we'll take it, um, only because I, uh, you know, it's something. Now, do we go into the curse room now? We got a guppy's collar. We got a spectral baby, ghost baby. Uh, let's just go down to the next floor. We'll see where this goes. This could be an interesting run, if nothing else. Um, we're still technically on track to be able to do. Um, boss rush, though I doubt that will happen with the layout that we got, but who knows? Who knows? Um, maybe we just get really lucky and we don't die. Um, and then if we get the, if we die and come back as Judas's shadow, hey, now we're a little bit stronger. We can actually take health and whatnot, so who knows? That could be a fun run on its own. Okay. Good old stuff. Come on, Lost. Let's do this. Let's get a really, really nice item on this floor. Let's get a mom's knife and have it somehow synergize with Monster's Lung so that we just shoot like a million knives. Would that be? Is that a thing? I hope that's a thing. I know that with Brimstone Mom's Knife, which I've actually never gotten because, like I said, I never get Brimstone anymore, um, that that shoots like a hundred knives. Uh, oh, goddamn. Goddamn. Oh, okay, this sucks. I hate this room. Okay, especially with our, like, when you're so fragile as the Lost, you get so terrified! Just blow up! Just blow up, dicks! Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, what? Oh, ghost baby, you dick! All right, well, we, we, uh, we guppies collared that one, so we're still not Judas's shadow. So that's nice. Ghost baby, you little ass. I'm sitting there trying to blow them up. Monster's lung. I probably shouldn't have taken it. It's pretty shitty. <laughs> uh, it's one of those items that I enjoy. Like, I think it's a fun one sometimes. But when you're playing The Lost, pass. Just pass on it, y'all. Okay. Um, two bombs. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and open this up. If it's in Isaac's room, uh, I heard something on a recent episode of Northern Lions series. Aha! If it is a clean room, then it should be a black market. Uh, so if we get another bomb, that's where we're going. That is where we're going. And we got a bomb. So let's go check that out. Let's see if it's if it's real. Let's see if the the truth is out there. Come on, black market. That could be really helpful. Hey! Or I guess a crawl space is the other thing it could be. Uh, technology, really? Really? Do we want tech? I mean, it might be better than Monstro's Lung, now that I think about it. Beep, 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 beep. I mean, yeah, we fire really fast, but what's our damage going to be at now? Two. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a weird one. Having the um, skinny odd mushroom with that is a, another odd combo. How quickly do you die? 
How quickly die? Do. Die. Die, do, die. Okay. Please do the death. Wow. That's not so great. It's okay. It's okay. The speed and the infinite range is nice. I will give it that. Um, man. Curse room, huh? Don't want to go to a curse room. I don't have the, uh, the lives to support it, really. Because we can't guarantee that the guppy's collar is going to be the thing that, you know, we use as our life. So, uh, yeah. Cool. Infinite range worked well on those guys. Uh, we'll probably go to our shop once we find it, just because we can. Probably shouldn't have come into this room. All right, all right. I'm feeling, I'm feeling okay now. This, this room, the uh, tech worked out pretty well. Certain enemies, we can shred. Uh, let's, let's go down. Okay, we've got a challenge room of sorts. Let's go see what's in there. Golden chest. So maybe. Uh, and I guess we're going up. Man, we picked the whole wrong direction. Oh, I saw a tinted. I saw a tinted. You guys suck. You guys suck because you leap. Stay away, please. Thank you. I'd love some spectral tears to go along with tech. If we can get some spectral tears to go along with this, then we'll be in a much better position, I think. Um, oh, boy. Get away, keepers. You guys are jerks. Trying to steal my monies? How dare you? Um... Yeah, Spectral Tears would be great. Okay, we got a bunch of bombs. I did see a Tinted Rock back there, and we're going to just go ahead and go back. We're playing it safe. We don't have the build that makes me say, Yeah, we're going to do great. So I'm taking my time. Uh, I guess we'll go up through the double room first. Oh, you know what sucks about getting two XLs, I just realized, is uh, our deal with the Devil chance. Uh, even if we get a deal with the Devil on this floor, we've still missed an opportunity because we only got... One floor's worth. Gosh, really? Well, okay, so it's not a bad item. Especially if we were to get something like the um, the leaf, the nod leaf. That would be really good. Because then we could move that around to where our enemies are. And then uh, just sit still. Let that thing do the damage, you know? Back off. Where's the next guy going? Just fry him. Yeah, it, it can help us in certain situations. My god, man. <laughs> These items. These items are shit, bruv. Shit. Sometimes you get a good run. Sometimes you don't. Almond Joys have nuts. Mounds don't. Uh, and neither does Spun Owl. Uh, are you a wizard does not have an effect when you have tech. That's cool. That's good to know. Oh, we need. We need. Um, do it like that. Okay, that was a good amount. Do, 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 do. Come on, grab that one and that one. And we'll grab you. And I think if we do one of those. Yep, now it's two. See that? Ah, uh, Mad skills. Okay, humbling bundle is the bomb. All right, I've got a double room here. Not only do we have to fight two bosses on this floor, but we have to fight one as a double room boss. <laughs> but it's okay. Widows, like double widows on a huge room like this when we've got infinite range. Totally fine. Totally fine. Yep, one's already down. This guy will be going soon. Come on. You're done. All right, give me meat or... Yeah, okay, that was the other one I was going to say. Cat and Nine Tails. Shot speed and damage up. I'm cool with the damage up. Carrying Queen. Well, we got a weapon that's actually... I say a weapon. We've got a couple of things that are actually really good against Carrying Queen, and one of which is going to be this little guy. So maybe it was a good get. Oh, that's wonderful. Look at that. You ain't, you ain't coming near us. You ain't gonna come near us. I would love to be able to do this if we do make it to boss rush to kill Carrion Queen, but it's not gonna be as uh, helpful in that situation because of the layout of that map. Just too bad. Oh man, this is amazing. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just pop all the hearts. He's not even dropping poops. Is that because it's a special Carrion Queen? I think that might be what it is. That was a special variant. Okay, we got ourselves health. And we're still not getting ourselves the thing. Oh, hey! Guppy time! Nice. Nice. So this is good. Now we're guppy. And we teleport right back into the room we're in. Now we're guppy. Okay. Okay. That's something. That is something. We're still not great on the whole uh, heart territory. Or, what, what am I saying? Heart territory. Lives territory. 
All right, couple of good uh, pills there. Okay. Um, God, I hate these rooms. Oh, shit. Okay, we'll just go like that. Oh, the flies are real, y'all. The flies are real. And we got Blue Baby's only friend up there who's doing that for us. Go, oh, God! Oh, I hate. Oh, I hate so much. Oh, and this is great. Our flies are like this nice little protective core uh, around us. So that's great. I gotta go back through this room. Ugh. When we're not fast enough, it sucks. Uh -huh. Come on, pull that one. And then go! Okay. Never going there again. Nice. Alright, what you got for me? Some double keys. Okay. Y'all suck. Let's just go ahead and do a little bit of this. A little bit of that. Thank you, flies. Go straight down. Okay. We've got our item room. Okay, what's in you? Little Haunt is pretty damn good. Little Haunt is good as the Lost for show. Okay. Oh, now I'm getting stressed out, y'all, because now we actually have some stuff. You know, being guppy is huge. All right, we've got a shop here, which money-wise is, you know, we could probably make something happen if we need to. What do we got? Mom's key? We'll probably grab. I know some people gave me, uh, got mad at me for not getting it on that last run that I did because it would have been really good. And you were right, but I, uh, I'm okay with it. We'll bomb you again. The amount that you get, since you get double, is kind of nice. All right, so now we have, we got some extra keys, but also when we open up golden chests, we will have um, better goods out of them. And considering we're now, might as well take that. Oh, look at that. Ah, but it's a red heart room. It's useless. Uh, we already got our item. We already got our shop. We're on Necro 1, so let's just go ahead and take out the boss. Holy crap. That was shreddage. And we did get a deal with the devil. I had the feeling it was going to be Krampus, so that was nice. And a whole bunch of soul hearts. Okay. Well, shit, y'all. We got we got five minutes to go find mom. Holy shit. Our damage is okay now that we have uh, freaking flies going around. All right, so we had to keep moving on this one because of these assholes. Little Haunt doing his thing. Any more of them? No, looks like there's no more of those guys. That's good. Infinite range. Infinite range. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, and that's why you get mom's uh, mom's key. Boss rush room, what you got? Nope. Not worth it. Okay, let's kill a couple of y'alls. How are we doing on time? we got plenty of time at the moment. Whoa, that was weird. That was weird. Did you see that? I mean, I know that was Curse of the Maze, but that was a weird way that it teleported us around. Oh, that was close. Oh, guys, I'm getting stressed. Oh, I'm getting so stressed out right now. Okay, y'all. Just don't. Don't be jerks. That's it. That's all you need to know. Just don't. Don't be rude. Okay. Now, like, the main thing I'm worried about is the actual mom fight, honestly. Just because, like I said, we're, our, our damage output in Wanda is just not... Oh, there we go! Yes! Oh, if there was an item I wanted. So good. Oop, almost forgot those guys can fly. That would have been bad. Wowzers! Uh, wow, I really hope our shop is on the way to the boss because... Oh, my God, why is the uh, Curse of the Maze doing that? Like the weird transition. Ugh, I hate that. It's really disorienting. Okay, what are you? Two of spades. Grab all these and just use it. Okay. I'm assuming this is the way of the boss. Okay. Didn't find our shop, but uh, we got 17 minutes. I kind of feel like just going for it, y'all. Oh, man. We got 17 minutes. I can. Oh, fuck it. The Curse of the Maze is going to screw with us. All right, come on, go flies, go. Do do your do your business. Just don't screw this up. Don't screw this up. Yes. All right, negative for sure. Boss rush. What do we got? What do we got? Anti grav tears. Leo. Uh, is that revenge fly in less than three? Shit. None of these are good. For what I want. I'll go with the fly. Honestly, I mean, there's really not much else. Because, like, Leo, it's like, I don't actually want to stomp stuff <laughs> right now. OK, 
Carrion Queen, right? Yep. All right. Oh my god, this is great. Oh, the damage is real. Oh, the damage is real. It's amazing. Okay, y'all. Okay, y'all. A fear. Get him. Get him, Haunt. Haunt, you're wonderful. Just please do your business and don't let him drop any poops. Okay, okay, come on. Come on. Okay, let's, uh, let's get in a better spot. Okay, Duke, take you out. Peep. Where you at? No, I'm hitting you. Stay as far away from you as I can. Oh, okay. Now who's next? I might forget. Lokes. All right, Lokes. Did I kill him already? No, there he is. Scared me. Okay. Yeah, Haunt, do your thing. Where's our uh, best bud? Where's our swarm protector? There you are. All right. You just do your business. We'll take our time. No need to get risky here. Let our little friends do what they can when they're available and we're safe. Okay. Like you guys, I don't even have to worry about. My friends can do the work for me. Oh, God. But little Steven gets close. Oh, shit. That was close. Okay. Okay. Oh, boy. You guys, this is terrifying. This is like the scariest thing ever. Because we really don't have much protection other than just our damage and our range. Oh, God. I'm going to get really quiet here probably because I'm really focused. This is like the closest I've ever gotten to getting this. Oh, boy. And we took the negative. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, I hate it so much. No, Monstro. No. Bad. Oh, God, Chad. Don't do that. All right, Monstro, please stop. Stop jumping. Because when you jump, you become unpredictable. In a way. All right, pin. No, 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 no. Chad. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, boy, y'all. This is crazy. This is crazy. All right, fly army, do your thing. Kill that. Okay, quickly, yes. What do we got? Gish and monster. <gasps> Fuck. God damn it, y'all. Oh, man. And are we the lost? I don't even know if we're the lost anymore. I think we're actually Judas's shadow. Oh, I am so pissed right now. I let him laser me. I let him laser me. Oh my God, that sucks. Fuck. Fuck. I don't even want to go on. My heart's broken, y'all. My heart is broken. I almost had it. I almost had it. Now we're stupid, Judas. Yeah, maybe we'll pull out a win, but I don't care anymore. My heart. Oh, my poor heart. Oh. Well, as you can see, all it takes is one little thing. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Because at least if Guppy's collar had procced, we could still go on to get the, uh, what do you call it? Um, we could still go on to get the, the dark room win. But now, fuck Bob's brain. Oh, I'm pissed. That sucked. Oh, well. Oh, well. It's over. There's nothing we can do about it. Shit happens. And then you die. Oh, man. I just... I should have known. I was like... I was like, oh, yeah, it's Gish and Monster 2, but I forgot. I was just like, for some reason, I was like, you know, Monster 2. No big deal. He's gonna laser you, you dingle. All right. Well, I'll never make that mistake again, that's for sure. Damn it. So close. So close. Oh, well. Oh, well, it happens. Hero font. Well, now it actually means something. It's weird to now have health. I'm in. I'm so in the lost mode that it's just like... I'm terrified. But yeah, for, for anyone with health, this is like a crazy good run. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, small rock. No? All right. What does this look like with... That's not bad, actually. Without any other trinkets, it's not a bad... Oh, God. Not a bad thing to have. All right. Well, we'll go on to take on the dark room. We'll stay as, uh, as Judas's shadow, and this will be our run. We're not going to tank it so we can go play another run. But, uh, oh, man, the Lost is just such – it's so infuriating, y'all. I absolutely hate playing as the Lost. It's like the ultimate challenge run. I get that. Um, but I just – like the fact that there's so much stuff gated behind winning as the Lost – 
it, it has been like the last frustrating vestige in this game for me. Once I'm done uh, with the Lost stuff, I'll never play the Lost again. I hate the Lost. <laughs> it's not fun. <laughs> oh, man. The only reason I'm doing it is for real Platinum God. And once I have that, I just... Uh, it's just not how I like to play this game, y'all. I like to experiment and have fun, crazy runs and everything. And with the Lost, it's all about the complete opposite. It's about, like, turn this into the perfect run and only look for the perfect run. Anyway, enough complaining. Let's kick some ass as Judas' Shadow because this is going to be... A stomp! We're gonna stomp the hell out of him. We got Blood Clot. We've been getting a lot of Devil Rooms, actually. Headless Baby's actually gonna cost us something, so screw that. Um, again, I know some other people like Headless Baby. I am not that person. He's not my, uh, not my friend. I just, it, it's okay. It's just, I don't think that it's as valuable as some people hold it up to be. Uh, the Hermit card. I don't really know what value that would provide us, but... But we'll hold on to it, because it's better than a Puberty Pill, I guess. Okay, I don't know what happened. What does puberty turn into when you get a, um, what do you call it? What does it turn into when you get PhD, I wonder? Oh man, I was so close on that boss rush. <laughs> it's going to be eating me up all day because I've been trying so hard to even get something near to a winning run there. And I should have been able to if I hadn't like let myself get hit by that laser. Ugh. Oh, sadness. Infinite sadness. Oh well. This is still going to be an epic run regardless. Okay. Go hoof. Yeah, I'll take that instead. I'll go faster. Just to get through it all. Oh. Got hit there, but, you know, it happens. I made a mistake, and I'm not even paying attention anymore because I'm, like, like I said, the... When you're in lost mode and then suddenly you have health, it's just like you feel like, oh, well, I can just get hit and doing anything. It doesn't even matter. It's not the way to be. It's not the way to live. Not the way to understand. All right. Got another tinted over there. Getting pretty good at spotting those suckers. Oh, come on. Grab that other one. They, uh, I think I'm finally at that point where they really jump out at me. <clears throat> it's a weird perceptual phenomenon that when we're primed... This is, you know, I'm, I'm going to be teaching this class in the summer, so I'm, like, getting all excited about it. Um, perception. We, we have this thing where, like, when we get primed for certain ideas or images or thoughts or words or whatever, that um, our brain puts, like, a certain amount of um, precedence or weight to them. And so then we tend to see them. Our brain is able to, like, pick them out from stuff way quicker. And it has to do with um, the way that we categorize things. And it turns out that... Um, Depending on your culture and your language, uh, if you have words for certain things that other cultures don't have, so for example, this is really common with colors, that certain cultures are better or worse at identifying different colors. Um, there are a lot of cultures in which um, green and blue are not actually differentiated. You actually use the same word to identify both. It just sort of means cold color. Um, and uh, in those cultures, they have a lot of difficulty identifying the difference between um, blue and green. Like if you show them two, a blue and a green that are maybe sort of similar to one another, and you ask them to kind of like pick them out, you know, on a series of multiple tests, um, they will have a lot of difficulty with it versus cultures that actually have different um, names for those colors. They'll be better at picking them out. So your brain actually aligns with your language and your symbolic representation for things. It's really cool. Anyway, that's what I study. That's what I do. <laughs> and so I find all that stuff really, really interesting. And perception is just like the most fascinating thing. When you learn about how your um, your uh, your senses, you know, all of your senses work, how they function, you start to realize that you can't really be trusted with anything. You can't be trusted with <laughs> eyewitness testimony. You can't be trusted with, you know, remembering what you ate for lunch. Like it's really crazy how bad our brains are at uh, remembering things all right that's a useless trinket for us we'll go ahead and do this because we're shredding right now i mean our our damage has now become absurd and i am so angry that we're not the lost right now because this would have been it y'all this would have been the one and now it's going to be been months away or it'll happen off camera which is probably more likely oh well as y'all, as I've told you guys many a time before, I'm not actually that skilled at this game, and I think I just proved it in my shitty, shitty monstro laser shot on that. I here's what I'm hoping. I am hoping that one of y'all was watching that 
when it happened. And like as I was standing there, you were like screaming, like, get out of there! Move out of the way! He's gonna laser you! Because uh, that's exactly what you should have been doing. And I just was so not paying attention. All right, the Fool card. Maggie's Faith. Uh, I stick with Goat stuff. I just like it. Um, Hermit versus uh, Fool card. Six of one, half dozen the other at this point, right? Don't have any more shops. All right, we'll take Mask of Infamy. Sure. Look how crazy out of control this run is when you actually have health. All of these items are just wonderful in that situation. Oh, man. I will say, though, that um, the fact that we... Act wow, that was weird for us to start at the top. Usually they pop you to the bottom in a room like that. Um, a lot of the strategy for the Lost, it is, you know, surrounding what I call reroll scumming. And they would say, you know... First floor, or first deal with the devil, most important thing in the game. If you don't get game winning item by that point, restart. And we did not. We got like what, Guppy's Collar? Not a game winning item. But uh, we stuck with it, and we actually did pretty well. And so I think that that does have some merit to say, like, look, the loss doesn't have to only be about having the perfect run. Um, you can do some stuff with it. But, uh, but yeah, I am glad I took Judas' Shadow, though, because we were able to turn this run into something that we can actually finish um, rather than... Oh, we'll keep the High Priestess. Um, <clears throat> rather than having to start over a run or to have just, like, a really short episode. So that's nice. And playing as Judas' Shadow is always fun because he's so powerful. Um, I wish that you could get unlocks as Judas' Shadow, I guess, is the only thing um, that bothers me. Like, he doesn't really count as a character. Like, I don't think he counts as Judas. He counts as Judas' Shadow. So it's a weird thing. Boom, bitch! Get out the way! Alright. And a uh, you, sir. Cockadoodle-doo, sir. And now we just slowly rotate around the room. <laughs> that was shreddage! Oh! So for those of you who are wondering, I use the controller. And so what's nice about the controller is you can actually gate your speed. So instead of going super fast, I can like slow, yeah, I can just barely touch it and so I can go slow. So when you're really fast, what you want to say, bait the Satan fight, you can go really slowly and then just kind of shoot behind you. And then the feet will be always spawning like pretty much right behind you. You'll hit them a lot better than if you're going so fast that they're spawning sort of in the middle of the room. Anyway, that's become my my Satan strategy, even though I barely fight Satan now because I can go to the chest, which is just more fun. Go, Ted! Little late, buddy. Little late. And we are at the top of the health cap, I guess. But, I mean, look at this. Look at this damage. Oh, so good. Hello, Rainbow Baby. Yep. Yep. I will say this is, this is a pretty good setup. Oh, I was totally not paying attention to that bomb. <laughs> Oh man, this is a this is a pretty solid setup at this point. Like, yeah, if, if we had been able to survive boss rush, I'm almost thinking like I shouldn't have gone to boss rush because I knew I wasn't in a good state to fight the boss rush. I was in an okay state. I was just super excited to even have the opportunity, so I thought I should take it. But I should have just not gone to the boss rush, and I should have um, just said like, you know, screw it. We're just gonna go for dark room because we were definitely set up, and like after the couple of items that we got beyond that. Um, we were definitely in a state where we could have won as uh, as the Lost. But anyway, big fan, Fat Protector. Hey! Hey! Hey, at least this wasn't nothing. Now you can see, I have never become Lord of the Flies, all right? That's something that I have been so angry about because Ash was telling me, he's like, dude, I become Lord of the Flies, like, all the time. I'm Lord of the Flies like all the time, and he barely plays this game compared to me. I play this game all the time, but it just never happened. It's never happened to where I've gotten Lord of the Flies until just now. So now we're guppy Lord of the Flies right here because we've got so many fly items. So that's cool. That's an unlock that I never got. Ugh. Uh, Eyes bomb in the back of our head is not bad because we fire. Well, we got used mascara, which slowed down our shot speed, which is too bad. But uh, we will be firing behind us a good chunk of the time. Wheel of Fortune. I think if I... Whoops, I think if I blow that up, it turns into something, right? Yeah, when you blow that up on uh, one of the bottom floors, it turns into an item pedestal, so that's cool. It's Monstro's Tooth, which, yeah, I guess it's better than Bob's Brain. Um, okay, yeah, let's just stand in the middle here. Boom, killed them both because of Mom's Eye. That's so cool. Oh, we're getting so many. You know what, we're taking that. You see how much money we got. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Look at that. <laughs> Ten cents is worth it. Oh, man. 
Money equals power has never made so much more sense. But uh, we're using a different kind. Yeah, look at that. Just say, say fuck it to the little haunts. Yeah. Yeah. Down. Jump is not worth it. Um, just kind of... Just get out of here. Get out of here. You're not dead? Die. Yeah, we're just paying to win now. Um, so what was I saying? What was I talking about? Items. Oh, uh, oh god, we could start the floor over. We might. Let's find where our boss room is, and we'll, we'll think about that being there, because that could be fun. To have a whole nother run through, because we've been getting so many items that, uh, it could be pretty fun to do this again. So, uh, let's go clear some rooms. And, yeah... Okay, okay, this is this is turning into something. So yeah, anyway, a lot of the RNG in this game that gates some of the um, unlocks is uh, pretty shitty um, for some of us. Just that, like, you know, I just haven't had a fourth level Meat Boy. I haven't had... Uh, I just got Lord of the Flies for the first time. And, you know, you guys know this. You've seen my episodes, and you've seen how much progress I've made and everything like that. I've played this game for hundreds of hours. Plurality hundreds of hours. Uh, and yet these kinds of things have still not happened. It's kind of cool because it does leave me still like wanting, like looking for things, like excited for things to um, unlock. But at the same time, it's really frustrating when you're like, how is it that I haven't gotten this stuff yet, you know? Uh, but oh well. Um, <clears throat> but then there are things where like uh, people were talking about, I guess, on Northern Lion, I didn't realize this, on Northern Lion's series, he hadn't gotten... Um, Guppy's hairball or something like that until like episode 200 or something and I get Guppy's hairball all the time I feel like it pops up into my RNG so frequently uh, that it's one of the probably the most common Guppy item that I ever get and so I find it weird that uh, someone would have it difficult getting that but it really is it's all about the randomness like it seems like it's the kind of thing okay when you guys all pop up again I'm paying to have you eliminated it's like I'm a mobster all right um <clears throat> It does seem like you tend to get certain items like uh, frequently and other items not so frequently, but it really is random. It just it's a, a weird way of random. Although what I, I think it might be is maybe like the randomness is based off of something like your um, your calendar or your uh, clock or your you know because a lot of games you know random is hard to program, but if you can come up with some sort of random then uh, that's good enough. Somewhere to take the random number generator from. And so it could be that like, oh, whenever I play Isaac, I always play Isaac at a certain time of the day. And if it's using your clock as the random number generator, then maybe it does mean it's slightly more likely for me to um, get certain items. So I don't know if that's true. It would be really interesting for someone, because I know there are people out there on the um, Binding of Isaac subreddit who do things like that. Well, hello, Dark Bum. Sure, why not? Come along. Um, <clears throat> it would be really interesting to um, uh, if someone would do the statistical analysis to look into that, to actually do a whole bunch of random uh, numbers and whatnot to see. All right, well, that was fun. We, we are now on our second run through here <laughs> of the uh, floor, and hopefully we'll get ourselves quite a lot of items on our way. Another pretty fly, and what are you? Puberty, not great. Um, but we know the way, oh, I guess the floor layout is different this time. So when you do a forget me now, maybe it changes the layout too. Um, because I remember when we were doing the undefined runs, that one run where I got the undefined and we did like the dark room like five or six times in a row. Oh, that was close. Um, <clears throat> I, that one, it kept giving us the same room. But uh, this one, obviously, it looks like the layout has changed. Or maybe I'm just not remembering it properly. That could also be the case. We no longer have pay to win, which sucks, because that was working out pretty well for us. But uh, it also wasn't entirely necessary. What are we getting here? Hey, more damage. I'll take it. And we're pretty fast still because we still got the uh, goat hoof, so it's not too big of a loss, and it's a huge gain. My god, we're shredding! Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Slow effect. Hell, maybe we'll get an item or two that I've never picked up. There's still some items that I've never seen. I'm pretty sure. I did get the body once, which we unlocked last time. I still haven't seen zero, I think is what it's called. One of the ones that we unlocked. I still haven't seen... There was another one that we unlocked, I think. I think there were three items that we unlocked. Um, which I still have only seen the body. But maybe we only saw two. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we fought. Because we killed the chest. We killed um, Mom's heart for the first time. And we killed Isaac. So that was three items that we unlocked. Okay. Hello, Mega Ball. All right. Yeah, just shred. Just shred him. Explosive diarrhea. Don't want explosive diarrhea. All right, Haunt. 
Think you're all cool with your little little babby ghosts. I got a babby ghost of my own. He'll take you down. Get up there, ghost. Teach him teach him who's the, the ghost with the mostest. Uh Sure, why not? Toxic onion juice. I don't even know what that does with uh what you call it? With tech. I mean really, what could it do? Alright, and you guys have been shredified. I don't know if you know this. I'll send you a letter in the mail. It'll be notarized just so you know, but you have been shredded. Yes, we'll take big, beautiful fly. We have so many flies. Now I just want to hive mind, you know? <laughs> Look at all the flies. We got all of them. We have all of the flies. Because we are lord of the flies. Oh boy, oh boy. So I guess it was a good idea that we went and picked up that smart fly or whatever in the uh, boss rush room. Because that's probably what helped us become Lord of the Flies. Hey, Book of Revelations, you're like way too late. I wanted you on the first floor so that I could start doing uh, the search for Meat Boy. Because that's something I haven't gotten either. Which, uh, there are some of you guys in the comments who you're like, you know, uh, Meat Boy's not that hard, I've gotten Meat Boy all the time. And you're right, it's not like it's hard, it's just you. It's random chance. You need to have the certain things line up. <clears throat> so you have to get, say, if you want to have any control over it, any impact on it, you have to get Book of Revelations on the first floor. And then what it is is like, okay, you'll be guaranteed to get the first three pieces, right? As long as you don't get screwed on like your boss layouts and get a bunch of um, XL floors because you can get screwed that way. Um, and then uh, you need, um, then it's 50-50 essentially on Utero to get the fourth piece because uh, Revelations doesn't guarantee that you're going to fight the one that'll give you the cube. It guarantees you'll fight a horseman. And you can fight Conquest instead of fighting Death on Utero. And if that's the case, then you do not um, get cubes. And so, uh, while yes, it's not tech it's not that difficult to get um, Meat Boy, it's very randomly determined. So there's just there's not much you can do. There's, there's only so far that you can go to uh, help uh, to um, determine that outcome. All right, man, we are doing some damage. Hey, common cold. <clears throat> Why not? Let's let's just stack some stuff. All right, and now we're gonna go fight our boss, and it'll be wondrous. Uh, yeah, we'll take that in with us. Sure, why not? We'll use it towards the end of the fight, I think. And uh, we will use our mom's foot right there, and then we'll do a little bit of this. And uh, Bob's your uncle. My goodness. <laughs> Wow, that was some shredding. Our damage got out of control by the end. I mean, honestly, I'm, I think we really could have won as the lost if I just hadn't made that one mistake. But, oh well, you know, we still had a pretty good run out of it. That was a really fast run, actually. I mean, that was pretty crazy uh, overall. But um, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, please give the video a like, a favorite, and subscribe to the channel. Next time, we will d again go for a lost run at the very beginning, and we'll see if it goes anywhere farther than the first five seconds. Uh, and, uh, and then after that, who knows? Maybe we'll do something fun like Azazel or Judas. Maybe we'll do an Eden run because those things can be wacky and crazy. Who knows? But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I have been Price, and I will see y'all next time.